Oh, this man. No, you can't. You can't get away. You can't get away. There. You can't get away. There. I'm gonna come over to the side, you know. I'm gonna come over right as well. Yeah. The two bus, them. Everything we see. Everybody see everything. Everybody. Everybody see everything. So my wonderful viewers and my nice clean subscribing family, let me run the latest information right by you. What take place in the viral video, right? Yes, so Sky News always make you know how it really go. A major accident reportedly take place early this morning in the vicinity of Kingston Wharf involving a crane that reportedly overturned. Right, there's a serious injury also reported, but nobody no lose them lives. You know, so that are the greatest thing, right? There, so several people were reportedly inside of the crane at the time. So you have to subscribe for future information, right? There, so at the best channel list, we tell you how it really go. So people are moving on now. More on, we tell us the police reportedly caught a thief that reportedly break inside of a bar. One heap of epicness, the police then reportedly bring back a, a fridge loader sitting where the man thief. Watch the video. Some wonderful viewers and my nice clean subscribing family. Indeed, the police them definitely do a wonderful job. Right there, so with them quick respond to apprehend the thief. They right there, so people are moving on to the next topic. Now, listen to what Alex reportedly have to say about a man in star security camera among three killing Anova. Triple murder shocks Western Parish. Four others wounded Hanover, Jamaica. A Hanover man who was installing security cameras at a shop in the parish square was shot and killed Wednesday night. He is among three who succumbed to injuries they received in the brazen attack. Four other persons sustained injuries. The incident reportedly took place shortly after 7 p.m. The processing of the crime. Seen, with yellow tape stretched across the Logwood Santoe crossroad, prevented commuters from continuing their journey. At approximately 12.35 a.m., two of the three bodies were removed by Doyle's funeral home. The deceased have been identified as 55-year-old Michael Smith and 37-year-old Mark Austin. It is understood that the third individual, Omar Mahabi, 44, died at hospital. Details surrounding the incident are unavailable. However, Crime Chief, Deputy Commissioner of Police, Fitz Bailey, confirmed the incident. Alex sending you back over to the viral boss. So welcome or welcome back. Any and every information reported the pop-up Upon the incident circulating on social media, definitely know see I'm here the viral boss to bring all of the latest info come right to your foot. People were really informative, were really engaging and were right to the point. Have a blessed day.